And then at the end of the next exhale, knees bend, head lifts, look at the front of the mat, and then step or hop or float forward. Inhale when you get to the front of the mat, spread the toes, draw long through the head, and then exhale. Ah, deep and down. Inhale, the head lifts, the heart follows, spin the arms, gazing down the nose at the thumbs, and then exhale all the way back down. Inhale, we'll do one more before moving on. So this becomes part of the mudra, joining together of breath. Exhale, dive forward, just let the breath be the guide. Inhale, head lifts, heart follows, straightening back. And then exhale, riding the wave of the breath, step or float back. Just follow the breath to the end. And then inhale, come into some form of upward dog, grounding through the base of the fingertips and the base of the, the joints. And then pushing back into downward dog, spreading toes, spreading fingers, Front of thigh, moving back and up into the back of the thigh. The sitting bones are bright. The buttocks is bright. And you breathe. So you have ideas of what might happen, what the posture might look like, and then you just breathe. It may happen. It may not. But what you're wanting to do is let the mind dissolve. Let the mind drop into the core of the heart and trust the intelligence of the breath. Now near the end of this exhale, you can bend the knees, bring the head back behind the arms to see the floor between the hands. And then you can hop or walk forward, lift the head inhaling, and then exhale, fold in, Complete the exhale until your pelvic floor tones. Lift your head and then inhale, reach up into the sky. Really feel your legs. And then you swim home. Good. So we're now going through the sun citation, we're going to do the warrior poses. So inhaling. Legs tone, the back of the diaphragm opens, and then we spin the edges of those wings, and then exhale up and over. So at first the chin is out, and at the very end you look at your nose and squeeze in, and then inhale, lift the head, moving coccyx and pubic bone back, and then you can step back or float back, and we'll come up high, so we'll start up in this high chatwari position with a little bend in the elbows. And then inhale, fill the area of the kidneys. And then with the chin a little forward, exhale. Inhale, drop the coccyx, and then pull forward, pull the spine in. Roll back over the toes and just ride the wave back. Ah. 